Campuses around the country have struggled to find adequate and affordable housing for students. At Pennsylvania's Newman University, the Catholic Sisters of St. Francis of Philadelphia had extra space in their convent. So in August, 40 undergraduate men and women moved into a convent with 40 sisters. Joining us now to talk about that is Kayla Patino, Kate LaViasenor, and Sister Dorita and Sister Esther. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, let me ask the young students, what was your perception of nuns before moving in, and what is it now? <laughs> okay, I did grow up, I could be a little biased, I grew up in a Catholic high school, so I actually, I really enjoy the presence of sisters. I think they're very wise, and they have a lot of good things to say, and they're just overall really good people. <clears throat> Sisters, let us ask you the same things. What was your perception of college students until they moved in? <laughs> well, we had a wonderful relationships with the uh, students at Newman University prior to this. We went to their ball games, we went to their plays, we went to their activities, and then they often came over for dinner or for spiritual reflection <laughs> evenings. So we already had established a great relationship be with them before they moved in. Huh. And it's not just female students living there. Am I right that there's 40 nuns and then there's uh, men and women college students, 40 of them sharing your living space, correct? Yes. Yes, yes. indeed. So how does that work? Are, there, uh, are you eating meals together? Are there, you know, uh, different bathrooms on different floors? Well, basically, the way the living arrangement is is that we all live in the same hall boys and girls. We do have a community kitchen where we go and, you know, sometimes cook our meals because we do have a plan where we have a five meal plan with the school in general. So the people who are living at Glen Riddle, they usually have this plan where they get five meals, and but they're able to cook more at Glen Riddle because Glen Riddle is more of an apartment style. So we don't really go in to the cafe as much and eat. But is there any fun being had? Or are there, is, there, is there any yeah. partying? Or is there any, you know, canoodling, uh, watching Netflix? Yeah, we definitely do have a lot of events that we host now in Glen Riddle. We usually always, like, have things like, for example, we just had a Fall Fest event where we had all the sisters come and join us with a lot of, like, Hall Festivity activities, especially including one where I had the Hay Ride activity. Well, not Hay Ride, sorry. A Hay <laughs> activity where you put your hand inside of a box full of hay and you close your eyes and you only use one hand and you get five seconds to just dig in there, look for one of the gift cards that I, impl I put in there and... Actually, sister, <laughs> sister Dorothy was the one who put her hand in there and was trying to cheat a little bit, just a little bit. But she was, she was, she was able to, you know, look for it at the last second. Right, now, very strict. She's very strict. <laughs> very strict. <laughs> Say the, the rapport between the students and the sisters is kind of limited now because it just just occurred only a few months ago. They um, so this was the first gathering, social gathering. But we see them daily coming in and out. We, we enter at different entrances, but we see them and we have the, the, the way of greeting and there's a respectful attitude and camaraderie that's, that, that's been experienced. Well, you know what, it, uh, sisters, let me just ask you this quickly. I have two college-age daughters and I mean, it's delightful seeing them, you know, when I see them. But, it, I, you know, if, I did, if, they, if they were home all the time, now it would kind of drive me crazy. So how is it for you? <laughs> we're in an entirely different building. It's yeah. one mother house. And they have one wing, which we call the South Wing. And that's where they have their dormitory, and their, as uh, Kayla just explained. Whereas we're in the main building, uh, the South Building, was our spiritual center. So we are really separate. Even the doors and entrances in between the two buildings are separate. Oh, good fences make good neighbors, yeah. huh? <laughs> but we meet each other coming and going. Like we have the parking lot, so we yes. often come out and meet students in the parking lot. They'll help us sometimes carry things in, or we'll chat along the trails, like we have a nice property with various trails. Very and nice. We have great conversation, great intergenerational discussion. So That's it's been great. a plus for us. Well, it's, it's wonderful. Sorry, it was. I was just going to say, it's wonderful having to see the sisters almost every morning getting to greet them. It gets you like a fresh new feeling in the morning. You're just able to go on about your day. hello and like get a smile going. Yep. Isn't that... Yeah. Well, 
We're not up at 3 a.m. when sometimes when the food is delivered. You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, we have a little different schedule. Yeah. 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 Well, it's but a pleasure yeah, to meet you all. Thank you so much for being with us, and good luck to you. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Well, there's a good screenplay in there somewhere, yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah.